Hey there, D.W. Berman here with a free LightWave tip. Uh, this is pretty new in the cycle for LightWave 11.6. It's actually still in pre-release, so it's, it's available to the public, but not officially shipping. But one of the new features is working, and it is the compound node. This is a new node. You can think of this as groups, so you can set up a node network and group them together and just have a simple input and a simple output. So let's let's put this to use and make a uh, a simple node that I think will be quite helpful. Um, if we look at the make vector node, we also have a make color node. We can take a scalar value and plug it into red, green, or blue, or x, y, and z, and then have a an array or a vector out. Um, a set of three values here with this little doodad on we can actually see the values the data set so here we can see that the red is 200 and green is 200 and blue is 200 and the corresponding decimal values and also over here we see XYZ so these are sets of three numbers that are coming out of here so we need to be able to plug something into the red green and blue and that will create whatever color that the input values create. But, I'm getting a little, little ahead of myself or behind myself or something. Anyway, we have something similar to go from a vector node to a scalar node, or a scalar value, vector scalar to the scalar value. However, we only have one vector in, which is okay, but we only have one scalar out, which I think is kind of annoying. Um, if we want to set this to the x value, Let's say, for instance, I wanted to remap the color here. So I wanted to swap the color channels around. I could go into color and plug that into vector. And I'll plug the scalar out into x. And let's say I want this one to be y instead. I want these all to be y. No, I want them all to be just swapped around. Copy, paste. OK, so now let's connect that one up again. Double click it, and let's say we want this one to be Z. We want Z going into Y, and copy paste. I don't know why I would want this, but basically I'm just swapping these color channels around. And there we go. I mean, you would probably use the make color node for this, but uh, you can see off off on the side what it's doing. Let's give us a weird color thing going on there. So. That's okay. It's just kind of annoying to have to do that when really all you need is one vector input with a bunch of scalar outputs. And our compound node lets us build that. So here's our compound node. It's under the tools section of the node editor. You'll see it has a new input thing there. You'll need to plug something into it, otherwise you will not be able to plug things into it later. If you need an input into it anyway, you might not need an input. So you notice there's nothing here on the input. That's OK. Let's add our vector scalar again. And we'll double click it and we'll leave that one at maximum. Copy, oops, paste, paste. Maximum, minimum, x, y, z, length. OK. So let's just set all these to maximum. Well, we'll set all these to separate ones. So there's max, there's min. There's x, there's y, there's z, and there's length. OK, let's jump out of here. And to switch out of your compound node into your regular node editor, just double click either the input or the output. So let's plug a bump in, because we want this to be a vector and not a color. We could do it as color as well. The only difference might be with the way it handles color values. So now we can uh, turn that down. And hey, we have an input now. We didn't used to have one, so we can just plug these all in. And there you go. And let's plug these into an output. And you notice that we plugged into new, and now it has a scalar out. Now we can rename these. In the first version of this, we weren't able to rename, but now we can. So let's right click. Node menu, rename input. This one was maximum. Maximum. Minimum. Rename scalar. Minimum. Mini, 
mini mum. And let's see. Rename X. This part is a little tedious, but you really only have to do it once. Why? We want mode node menu rename, not the regular rename. At least I think we want the regular rename. Yeah, that won't do anything. So rename this one would be length. This is if you wanted the full gamut, the full range of vector inputs. Now I'll rename the input as well. Rename This can be a little confusing because it says input here, but we're renaming the output. That's because this, yeah, this box, this is the output of the input. Just like these are the input of the output, if that makes any sense. Anyway, double click that, and now we have our brand new node. And I'm going to right click on that and do a rename here, and we'll call this vector scalar plus. Now I know there is a vector scalar node that does this already that's a, a free plugin but it's nice to have things native when possible. So instead of going through all of these things every time and setting them up like we just did I can simply plug in the color into the vector and plug these in however I see fit. Do I want it like that? Well, no, let's rearrange this a bit. Sure, that's a purple tree with a green sky. Let's say that's what we want everything to be red. And of course, you could, instead of naming them XYZ, you could name them X slash red slash heading, because these could also be rotation values, heading, pitch, bank. So there are a number of ways you can label it, but that's pretty much all there is to making a uh, a compound node. You just have to drag something to the new to set an input on the other side and just plug stuff into the new slot on the inside to make outputs on the outside. In order to use this again, we need to save it. So we'll just do a co we'll just have it highlighted and right click on it and then let's export selected. And now we can put this somewhere we, we where we will use this. So lightwave stuff, nodes, vector scalar, plus, and save. And now that node is forever saved. I can delete it out of here, and I can delete these out. Not that I really need them anyway. But now we can just go into the edit menu and do import nodes. Vector Scalar Plus, and there is my Vector Scalar Plus. So I hope that helps uh, you see what's available as far as the compound node in Lightwave 11.6. Um, check out my videos at liberty3d.com if you uh, like this video. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. You'll see stuff on the channel from time to time, new tutorials and whatnot. Uh, again, my new brand new uh, tutorial that I just posted on Liberty 3D a few weeks ago, or a week ago, I guess. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.